Hello, and welcome to Coffee with Cassie's Mom. We're here to discuss how parents can help their children to have a more successful college experience. I'm here today with Professor Mary Dees. She's a professor in mathematics at JCCC. Welcome, Mary. Well, thank you, Fawn. I'm very honored to be here. Thank you. I remember my students coming home and having questions and wondering how do they approach their professor. And I told them they're real people too and asked them what was on the syllabus or what's a proper way or appropriate way your teacher shared with you on how to contact them. So I was wondering if you could share today how parents could coach their student on how to approach a faculty member. I think a parent can actually coach their student by simply telling them something that you actually mentioned. We're simply people and we're actually teaching the courses but we want the students to actually share, you know, whether they're having a hard time and to actually come in. I love for the students to come in and talk to me one-on-one. -on -one. You know, email is great but it's always good to put a face along with that student. And you know, if we're in a face-to-face -face class, mm -hmm. we actually know the student. But if you're doing online or self-paced course, I always still like to meet them. Are there any other recommendations you could Another give to Another recommendation for me being an older Southern woman, mm -hmm. whenever you send an email, make sure that you actually um, encourage your student not to say, hey. <laughs> or text talk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because you know some of that is like okay but it's really good along with a faculty member to build that area of trust because I mean like we all know life um, actually happens and so when things actually come up they need to let us know. It sounds like that you would just like them to treat you with a basic respect. Right. And honor. Right. If they don't talk to us we don't really know what's actually going on. And we would really love for them to always share with us what is going on. I was wanting to know if you have specific office hours or if there's more appropriate times to contact you during the day? Yes, we do have office hours and, and those are actually written out for us. And we always like for students to come during those office hours, but as we know, they are very, very busy, so if they need to meet us outside of those office hours, they can also, simply by simply calling us. Do most professors include that in their syllabus? Yes, we all are required to actually include that in our syllabus. Each full-time faculty member has to be on campus and have office hours, at least five hours of office hours a week. Well, that'll be the first place I have my student look then. <laughs> Well, thank you for sharing all these insights that we can help our students approach faculty more appropriately. We really appreciate that. That's all for today. You can find more tips on the Johnson County Community College website. For parents, go to Coffee with Cassie's Mom menu. And for students, Coffee with Cassie. Parents, make sure you share with someone else today what you have learned. Bye for now.